Hey, what's up? Alright, so I was revisiting an old project I did about four years ago and I thought it looked really nice. And then I said, let me try to improve it. And so I came up with this render. It was just a plain white background. It looked good, uh, but I thought it was a bit boring. So I wanted to spice it up a bit. And that is when I created this one. And I really was really proud of it. So I said, let me show you how to do it. It looks complicated, but you'll see how easy it is. I'm actually going to show you both of them. The one before with the plain white background and this one as well. And you'll be surprised how easy it is. All right, so let me show you. The first thing you do, I split my window and set this up so that this side will be the side I'm looking through. So I press one for front view and let's enable the camera. I already have the folder there. All right, so I'll select the camera and while it's in this orthographic front view, I just press Control Alt Zero and the camera will line up just like that. With product photography, most times you want a long focal range, focal length. So instead of 50, I do something like 200. I used to do like 90 millimeters as like my product photography lens, but this works a lot better. And so let's center it up. So let's put the X axis at zero. All right, and we need to pull this back a bit. We need to pull this back probably like, probably like there and probably and just adjust it so easy to center it up. All right, so in the camera, let's go down to viewport display and turn the passport to all the way up. All right, so let's press Z and Z and swirl it up in we in rendered view. The wool strength is to zero. All right, so let's turn off the overlays here now. All right, okay, great. So now we, in this section here, we create a, a plane so you want to create like a floor for the for the wine to sit on so let me scale it up all right so just like about that all right okay is that on the floor yes okay perfect here's how you light our, our glass a clear wine glass it's very simple i'm going to click on studio i'm going to press actually i could duplicate this this plane so i'm going to press shift d all right to duplicate it and flip it on the X, RX 90. And I'm going to push it back, let's say about about a thousand. It's really 10 meters, right? <laughs> Which is like a thousand centimeters. All right, way back. And you'll see why I push it way back. Let me scale it up. All right, so let me pull up the shader. So let's get some light into the scene. In the shader editor, click on that and click new. And let's give it this is a, this is the light all right this is the light and we're going to give it an emission material all right so shift a shader emission all right and plug that in right so right away i realize okay that we need to lengthen this the floor plane so select these two and just press gy right all right so that's in our camera we could even do this one as well. We could press GY. Great. All right. We'll come back to this just now. But so first of all, let's focus on the light here. We want this light to be a little brighter. Let's give it like, put it to like five. All right. So that's good. And the reason why this, this looks so beautiful is because if it's closer, if we press GY and bring it closer, you know, this is washed out. I'll tell you why that's happening. Because of the environment around. If my world strength here which is set to zero if this was any anything higher then what will be what you'll be seeing let me give it a color so it makes sense you see what you'll be seeing reflecting the edges there is actually the color of the environment so because it's all the way to black all right that is why all the way to black yeah that is why you get those edges there because you allow the light you allow this gap in between the light and the and the glass and in, in product photography, in real, we didn't always have the, all this real estate. So you'll have to put like flags here. It was some work to get it to get it done. But we're using a 3D software so we could do what we want. All right. So that's why the plane is all the way back there. The the light. So with the, the ground plane, select new and select uh, ground. All right. Or base or whatever. And let's give this a color of black. And a roughness of zero and that's where we get those nice reflections all right and what you'll notice here you see this we see the edge of the table so to speak all right of our, our ground and to get rid of that 
here's a real easy and simple way to do it we're going to use the ray length of the camera without getting into the weeds just follow me all right so just press shift a and add an input light part and also shift a a shader transparent shader transparent bsdf so let's mix this Control shift right click and mix it too all right and we're going to use the the ray length and plug that in there so let, let me press Control shift until we get to the to the ray length all right so the ray length basically tells us how far a ray has traveled since it left the camera we can use that information uh, to create a gradient let me show you so if you press shift a and add a converter math node and drop it right there and then set it to smooth minimum all right and then press shift a a converter color ramp we can adjust this and uh, let me set this to ease and see you see what's happening here so let's adjust the distance here so i'm holding shift and i'm going to just adjust the distance until you see some change right so you notice the black is is coming into the scene and i want this top part here to be white so let me see if i could probably adjust yeah uh, probably like that i could i could let me reset this click on this press backspace all right and i actually want this part here to be white you do you did you know let me set it set it back to ease did you know that if you click this white flag the value is hit set to one but you could click here and press something like five and you can raise the value even higher uh, in this case let me put it to something like 10 all right and then i want to create another flag like in the middle and so this flag in the middle will be five all right it will just give that gradual fall off and let me adjust the distance once again you see what's happening when i mix it so what what i really want the the black the black part fading into the white part is actually this our material that we gave it here remember this glossy material and we're going to uh, mix it with this transparent so wherever it's black is going to show this material and wherever it's white like here is going to be transparent so if it is that we plug the result of what we just created here into the factor here and then press ctrl shift left click then you will notice there's this infinite gradient let me show you if we let me show you that again so you see clearer if i simply plug in what we had originally before just this one and plug it straight there you'll see the line and if i if i tap into the edit mode and i adjust let's pay attention to this line here if i press gz notice you've seen it yeah but now with this setup enable control shift left click that's gone so now if i press gz sorry it's not plugged in <laughs> my bad let me plug it back here hey plug this back here and plug this here Control shift left click yes so when i press gz you know you have you've barely barely seen that i'm not seeing it you have to look really carefully all right and then of course you could adjust this uh even more so that it will be totally but it's totally going there all right so that is actually how you do uh, that remember the original scene that i showed you in the introduction this is how you do it all right if it is that you want to introduce you want it to be a lot more a lot darker well then what you do is put the plane a little further back all right that's up to you it's preference all right all right so let me show you the other way actually the other the stylized uh shot that you saw that rendered earlier you i remember i said you would be surprised how easy it is so let me show you what do you do with this same node press ctrl t and we're going to switch out this for a gradient texture before we could have press press shift s but now we have to delete it and then shift a and add a texture gradient texture all right and let's plug the generated by default this uses generated coordinates so we're just going to plug it in just in case we have to adjust it but i don't think we need to so just plug them up just like we had before and with this gradient texture switch this to quadratic sphere see and that's pretty much what we had earlier of course the strength needs to be a lot higher so let's turn it to like 200 and that's pretty much what we had earlier and so and but there's a slight difference though 
uh, in the render before you'll notice that there was this nice little highlight on the right side so let me show you how we get that really easy and simple so i'm gonna press shift a and add another mesh plane and let me scale it up a little bit scale it up scale it up all right control a and apply scale and let me rotate it on the x by 90. i want to get and press 7 for top view just rotate it a bit here and i'm going to use i'm going to introduce my the strip box you must be accustomed to, to me using that by now it's a node group that i created it's free to download i'm just scaling i'm just sizing it up because i'm going to use this to create that edge there and you're going to learn something so you notice that first of all is blocking the camera a bit so with this enabled uh, click on object and uh, click here where it says visibility and turn off the ray visibility of the camera all right and, uh, and let's just move it up g z let's move it up so it wouldn't be re reflecting on the table all right so let's press new and uh, delete this and and enter our ultimate strip box all right version 2 is updated and this works with generated coordinates so shift a input texture coordinates and plug the generator there and just to see what we're doing press z and go to material preview and i'm going to plug in plug, okay i really want let's see this one all right single y and i'm going to adjust the width just about there and i want some fall off as well a nice fall off the intensity is a bit low so let me put it to like 10 so that you could see all right so you've seen something so let me adjust it press 7 for top view let's bring it in just about here uh let me turn off let me let me reduce the width just a bit all right and even the fall off as well more so the width and and line it up until it's something that you like all right so what i had before was something like that what you notice right away though is that while it's it's reflecting here it's also reflecting through the back to avoid that while this is enabled what we need to do is turn off the transmission so it doesn't go through the glass see and so now we can be able to play with this however we want all right play with this however we want so i like the fall off to be pretty high so it's a nice gradient let me pull it back a little bit all right and and adjust this is to suit here so we just keep pressing like rotate and you get that nice that nice highlight and you could increase the intensity more if you want and this is how we be able to get this similar render that we had earlier and you notice this nice little highlight at the top as well that's because it's because of the distance that the plane is away from the, the the glass that's why you get that if it was too close then you wouldn't get that nice separation there so when we click f12 to render you see you see you're getting that nice little highlight to the top there see and this this highlight that we just created so that's pretty much how it is that you you like you create that render that that um that you saw earlier pretty simple huh? so i hope you learned something and if it is that you like this kind of stuff well then you definitely like my course it's a course i have on 3d product visualization it's actually more to do with workflow so yes you will learn a lot of modeling skills it's actually much more comprehensive than i intended it to be it was really was supposed to be just about workflow but i just wanted to teach almost everything i know so right now it's on sale it's 25 percent off so you can free free to check it out i'll leave the link in the description all right so hope you have a good one and i'll see you in the next one take care